Oh, hey, look, it's IgG Kappa. Wait, hold on, this looks weird. There's actually so many of them. Well, it turns out that these are actually monoclonal proteins from a myeloma patient's blood. Let's actually take a closer look at what's happening in the body. Your body contains many plasma cells, and each of these plasma cells produces a different antibody. In myeloma patients, there are bad plasma cells that start to make copies of themselves. Each copy makes the same antibody, which is also called an M-spike. M-spikes are detected by a test called serum protein electrophoresis, or SPEP, and normally they're found in the gamma region of the graph. It measures the output of the myeloma cells. Immunofixation electrophoresis, or IFE, tells us the type of M-spike that is produced in the blood. However, there are some caveats. IgA M-spikes might get stuck with alpha or beta proteins, so on SPEP, the value of an IgA M-spike might not be correct. Another caveat is that if a patient is taking Darzelex, IgG kappa can show up on their IFE results, even if they have a complete response. All of these values are actually recorded on the AlphaCure dashboards. So why does AlphaCure collect this data? It helps show the status of someone's disease, and it also shows the response to a treatment. Thanks for watching this video. To see more of AlphaCure's videos, go to allforcure.com.